going to start this off. Welcome to the show. It's not turntablism. It's not turntablism. It's just what it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's up? My name is Tom Murphy. You already fucking know that. Welcome to Things I Hate 7. Very special episode today. We're broadcasting live from my hometown of Ottawa. Taking a little time off, visit some of my homies. And we're very lucky to have a very special guest, famous videographer and YouTube star, Matthew Dickey. Suck my dick, Wasp. Come on in, Matt. Working the camera and a guest. Double duty on it. Now, How's let's. It it's it's good. It's going good. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Things I hate seven. Fantastic. I think we'll start it off with the things that you hate because that's the first thing in my notes. So, the things you hated and loved were actually really funny. What was the thing you loved again? What did you send me? Do you remember? Waking up before your alarm clock. Oh yes. Okay. So the things that you said you hated were not all of them, but but. One of them was people who tell me their excuses for not going to the gym is one. <laughs> Dude, I and hate then, that so much. Then the other thing that you said to me was <laughs> that you loved was waking up before your alarm clock. Yeah. So what I and everyone else wants to know is why the fuck are you so intense? <laughs> <laughs> you fucking psychopath. <laughs> These people don't give me excuses. <laughs> I love waking up before my alarm clock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what the fuck? <laughs> I'm shouting, all your neighbors are going to hate me. You stinky, too. <laughs> They're going to hate you after the Scottish diver incident. Oh, but yeah. anyways. That's a, that's a, a teaser trailer. <laughs> teaser for, trailer. Check out. Up. Oh. Uh, Dude, hey, can you shut the fuck up for a second? Uh, Dude, yeah. this is my first ever podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy for you, bro. I started a podcast company two years ago. This shut is my up. first podcast. <laughs> shut the f- I'm sorry. I don't mean to be so mean. Yeah. I'm really happy. Dude, you're always mean, though. I know. <laughs> I know. Um, okay. There's so many things to talk about. Yeah. Because as much as I'm a dick to you, mm-hmm. you are a dick to me, just for the record. It's okay. an equal love. Yeah. But, like, this, I wouldn't have done this stupid thing if it wasn't for Dickie. Yes. Because he he really encouraged me to do this. Because, like, when I was... I don't know. He was starting his podcast company. Listen, I've talked about that before. L I S N. Go Google it and shit. Mm-hmm. He was like, podcasts are dope, and I was kind of getting into comedy. He was like, you should do one, and I was like, that's fucking stupid. All podcasts do is people talk about their dumb feelings, and I don't want to pollute the world. Anyway, he convinced me to do it, and so here I am for better or for worse. So shout out to you, thank you. Glad, glad we did it. And then <clears throat> why not? Before we get into why you're so fucking insane, how about a. A, a quick listen intro you know okay listen listen is a brand new podcast platform we're developing tom is head of marketing not really at least kind of up there though i'm up there we're making a plot fo- platform <laughs> that allows both users and creators to clip segments of podcasts send them to their friends post it right to the app or share it to any of their favorite social medias oh it's good you rehearsed that nice work <laughs> you good. got through that you got through every that. day nice work. Rehearsed that every day <laughs> um listen is pretty sick hopefully it'll make lots of money because uh me and dickie hopefully it'll make lots of people lots of money yes well like said. lots of creators lots of money well said nice plug yeah so if you're another dumb podcast creator like me it's going to be uh uh, attractively monetized to to the creator community. That's a good way to put it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think. Do we want to tell anything about the monetization? Yeah, why, why tell them right now? It's okay. not ready. Okay, we're not ready yet. We're not ready. <laughs> you heard it here first. Okay, let's get into why you're fucking insane. So, why did you write those two things? Uh, which one do you want to talk about first? Let's start with hatred, and when when we'll go to positive. <laughs> so, why do you hate people who tell you their excuses for not going to the gym? Because. Well, first, people love making excuses. And second of all, going to the gym is such a battle. It's not a fun place. You don't go to the gym. You're like, you're not, like, you're not there like, ooh, I love lifting this heavy shit every day. Or I love sweating. Or I love working hard every morning. It's like, you know, it's, it's not something fun. It's like the amount of mental battles I have to go through to get myself to the gym on most days is insane. Hmm. And then 
I have to hear you tell me why you're not going to the gym, bro. <laughs> I don't care. I just spent 15 minutes my morning to call myself a little bitch to get myself to the gym. Ah. Now, of course, when he points at me, he doesn't mean me. I go to the gym every day <laughs> for like five hours. What did you work out today? Everything. <laughs> nice. Name a thing. I worked it out. Nipples? Yeah. Mm. Um, no, I don't go to the gym because I'm creative. Uh, <laughs> Excellent. No, but this is surprising for me to hear you say, because Dickie is a, a, a gym guy. You try to go seven days a week. I try to go to the gym seven days a week. Yes. Right. So he's gym. He's, he's got gym shark clothing, gym <laughs> life. He follows exercise people on don't, Instagram. Don't put him in together with gym shark. Right? I don't want to be that guy. He doesn't have gym shark clothing, <laughs> but he's a gym guy. He's not a gym rat. That's too strong a word. Cause he's not a fucking idiot, but he's, he's a gym guy. So it, it's, it's not only is it interesting, it's also comforting to hear mm. you say like, Oh, like, hey, man, I go to the gym a lot, but I have trouble, too, so getting there. So that that's cool. And I get the hatred of, like, yeah. don't give Because excuses are whack. And and I think the older I get, the more, the more, because a lot of the hatred on this show is, like, joke hatred. But the more a- actual distaste I have for people who give excuses in general. Oh, yeah. Because I, I, think, I think we're both pretty hard on ourselves. And I think that, you know, it, it's just, like... I don't know. I don't want to suck our own dicks too much. It's like, okay, a good example is like last summer I separated my shoulder and I couldn't work out for like three months, but I did all my exercises. I did the elastic band shit and got together. I finally started going back to the gym and like two months into going to the the gym after that, someone came up to me and they're like, they're telling me how they couldn't work out because they hurt their ankle. And I forget what, like, what stupid way they hurt their ankle. But they're like, yeah, my ankle's been, like, been pretty bad, so I can't go to the gym. It's like, first of all, you have an upper body, you know? Figure it out. And second of all, don't care. Yeah, yeah. That happened to me in Carlton. <laughs> I remember the girl I was seeing called me up for it. Nice. Yeah. What happened? It was something almost identical to that. Cool. I, like, hurt my, my wrist or something, and I was like, oh, I guess I can't go to the gym. She's like, what about your legs? And I was like, ah. <laughs> <Mm-mm>. Dude. <laughs> yeah. um, okay, so... Let's do the alarm clock one. Let's Ooh. hear you say why you love that. Because getting woken up by an alarm clock is a terrible, terrible feeling. And if you get woken up in like the middle of a sleep cycle, that's when you wake up and you feel like you got hit by a train and you're just like all groggy and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. If you wake up before your alarm clock and you set one an early alarm clock, you know you're gonna have a good day. You're just like ready, you fired up, your body woke up when it was ready to go, and you're good to go. It just feels good. Gym guy, Matt Dickey, <laughs> talking about his body. <laughs> That's true. But what about if you wake up too early before your alarm clock? Um, yeah, that's devastating. <laughs> yeah, because if you wake up like an hour and a half before your alarm clock, you're like, dude, am I going to get it up an hour and a half early? Mm. You heard it here first. <laughs> Detailed coverage of alarm clock wake-up schedules and their optimality. Not a word. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Um Let's move on to to the cards. The cards. So tell tell what did describe the cards submission that you gave. I hate store bought Hallmark cards. Yes. They suck. Yes. It's like well, first one you 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 open one up right, and what does it say? Like Merry Christmas. Yeah. I, Merry Christmas. I'm I'm fucking stupid. I love you. Yeah. yeah, yeah I yeah, love yeah. you. And just I remember like growing up, and my mom was like so hard on like cards. Like cards are so important. And I just like go to the store like and like look at this random stack of cards and see all the other 45 people there that came last minute to go buy this card. And they're just like randomly picking one up, putting it down, pick another one up, put it down, pick one up. Okay, this one's good. You know, this is, this is a fascinating barometer of personality yeah. because um, my sister, who I just visited, loves cards. She can't get enough of them. I'm not exaggerating. She's mm-hmm. like, I love going to the the aisles and reading the different cards. Me, I'm kind of a middle ground, but I do have a hatred for the waste that they sh- show. Let me clarify something. Like homemade cards are phenomenal. No, you take yeah, you take ahead. the time to write down some feelings, maybe draw a little picture. Like that's a great message. You put in effort to do that. Going to a store to buy some card that Hallmark made shows nothing. What about if you buy the card and you put a really nice message in it? That's cool, but why don't you just do that at home with your own paper? Okay, I guess. Yeah. Dude, it's my hatred. You can't tell me what I can't. I'm not telling. I'm just exploring it. <laughs> Jesus Christ! And I'm fucking sensitive. Am I right, folks? I need a laugh track, you know. But I don't though. <laughs> um, 
But I feel like, am I right in saying that you would have less hatred if they bought a Hallmark card and then wrote a nice message in it? Yeah, definitely. Less definitely, hatred. Definitely okay. less okay. hatred. Yeah. Um, let's do some. I'll I'll just say a, a car, an event like a holiday, and you say the car, the thing that's written inside of it. Okay. So I bought I bought a happy birthday card. I'm opening it up, and what does it say? You're old. Oh, I'm old. <laughs> what's the, what's the punchline? That's it. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's do another one, okay? Okay. Okay. Oh, it's Christmas. Oh, here's a card from Dicky. What does it say? Um, sorry, what was the game again? Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, you say what's in the card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's only one rule. Right, right, right. Man, right. It's Christmas. I'm opening up a card from Dicky. What does it say in the card? Merry Christmas. Hope you have a snowy year. Snowy year. Oh. Okay, this is fucking stupid. Let's yeah, do something else. that was stupid. Hey. hey, hey. Only I can say Dude, it's I know something that you hate that you overcame today. What do I hate? You hate Lots of things. buying shit. Buying new things. Oh yes. And you bought a brand new <laughs> backpack. And for you for everyone, because none of you guys know this, Tom loves his backpack. Tom will not go anywhere without his backpack. Yeah. Specifically this red bean up disgusting disgusting it's not so bad half broken from the 80s backpack okay materialism <laughs> all right god just because it's not a fucking apple backpack out of the fresh packaging it's just that's the thing with dicky if it's not if you didn't just peel off that fucking piece of plastic dicky's like why, why are you using this piece of shit it's fucking garbage Blah. that's not true so i have a you backpack. made that up for a point no that is true you love new things and consumerism no, I like, I just told you how much I love your old bean up shirt. Oh, yeah. He did say that. All right. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> but uh, the, the backpack was secondhand from my sister. Um, and I, I used it for a while. But you're right. I do have a phobia, hatred of, of consumerism and buying new things because it produces so much waste. Anytime an object is created, there's a ton of waste that's produced. So I try to limit my consumption as much as I can. But anyway, this backpack, the zipper has been like really fucked. I'll give you that. The zipper has been truly fucked, as fucked as Dickie has described it for a long time. And it's been causing me a lot of stress. And today I was leaving my house and I was tweaking out because I was worried I didn't have all these supplies. And I opened my bag to check to see if I had all the supplies. <laughs> and I was like stretching the bag. Going, oh, fuck you. Kill some flies on here. I was stretching the... <laughs> did I get stung? No. I was stretching the bag open to check if I had all the supplies. And I pulled it and the zipper broke off the zipper chain. Oh, no. And so I was like, fuck this. I'm really over it. And I went and got a new one. It was $200, which is like, I guess it's fine. but Dude, hopefully that backpack lasts you another 10 years. It's a nice one. It's that stupid brand... Fjall Raven, Fjall Raven. I have never heard of that. You never seen that, no? No. It's it's all the basic white girls have it, no? But it's like looks kind of like a fox. Doesn't matter, whatever. Anyway, it's a pretty nice backpack. I'm into it. Nice. But um, oh, let's do this. Is a fun one. Reddit. Oh. Now dude. before we get into this, <laughs> well, you fucking Reddit clones, don't come after us. We're both avid Reddit Reddit users, and it's a it's a big love hate relationship. And for me personally. The hate has been winning recently, but I'll let you tell you tell, tell your sure. experience. Um, so, what you, in percentage wise, like what percent of you loves it? What percent of you hates it? Right now, probably about thirty love, seventy hate. Yeah, roughly. I got ten percent love, ninety percent hate. Oof. Okay, yeah. go but, on. But but the ten percent is like a it's a very strong like love, because you can you can find any answer to mm -hmm. anything, and you'll have multiple different opinions on it. And if there's some bullshit. People are gonna call you out on it. Or no quit your bullshit. Problem. Or quit your bullshit. Yeah, yeah. I've never looked at that, but <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and um, where's all the hate stem from? <laughs> all the because like the the core of Reddit is like you are this anonymous user mm -hmm. that no one knows, and when people are anonymous on the internet, they feel like they can just say anything or do anything and talk to people however they want, mm -hmm. and just like degrade them and put them down and just like first of all if you're the type of person that needs to go like on the internet and have have your have your complete personal profile hidden from every everyone and just like start talking shit it's like 
Why? So you have a problem with, because this is not, my, my problem is similar but different. So I, it sounds like you're speaking from experience. Do you have something that happened that you're like, this instance made me generate this idea? <laughs> yes, for me personally, I posted a video and people just went off of me, but like that wasn't, <laughs> that was fine. It was just like, it was a cool experience. But just like, no, if you go look at any post, right? Like any post, like people are always like talking mad shit. And it's always from some anonymous bullshit profile. It's like, who are you? Like, why does your opinion even matter? So you have the the problem with the anonymity shit talk. Okay. Yeah. I, my, my hatred is similar. It is, um, I have a problem with the quote hive mind that's been talked about on Reddit, where it's Reddit has very specific likes and dislikes. And, and there's, there's formats to submit, submit posts in oh order to God. gain karma. Why don't you tell them about the cartoon you showed me, the meme where it's like, uh, or that video. Oh, the Gus Johnson video? The Gus Johnson, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just will basically just, if someone posts their own video and tells Reddit to check this out, Reddit will shit on them. Yeah. If someone's like, hey, my friend made this, you should check it out. They're like, ooh. Which is crazy, right? That's really crazy. Yeah. So um, I had a similar experience doing stand up. I posted a, a st an R stand up shots. And it got, I think it got like 3K upvotes, pretty great. Nice. And uh, and then I was like, hey, if you'd like to check out my Instagram, fucking downvote it to Oblivion, just wrecked, <laughs> you know? Which is like, what the fuck? Dude. So but why? Yeah, I don't know. The thing, I, this is interesting because we have a, a different hatred. So like, mm -hmm. I'm talking about something else, which is puns. Reddit loves puns. Oh yeah, puns are great. Um, but anyway, I fucking hate puns. I don't know why Reddit loves puns. You don't mind puns. Yeah, me and Tash, Tash is my girlfriend. Sorry, Tash is my roommate, and um, we have a lot of pun offs, and she's really good at puns, and they're funny, and it's just like it's not like they have to be good. This was things I hate seven. Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, I'm sorry we had this piece of shit guest on here, but you know can't win them all. Well, loved it. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Okay, I hate puns, but I'm happy that you have something that you enjoy. But um, the other thing I hate about Reddit is those. Um, those stupid nice chains, you know? And this has been talked about, ironically enough, on Reddit. I don't know if you've seen our starter packs. Mm -mm. It's like, well, anyway. There's like, someone says like 69 or something, and then somebody goes, nice, 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 nice. Anyway, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get off it. We'll get off it. Okay. Why don't you, do you have a pun for us you can do? Uh, no, not right now. I can't just whip them out of nowhere. Mm. Um, okay, ladies and gents, I think that's all we have for today. I hope it wasn't too long or stupid or boring. Uh, Matt Dickey, give it up for yourself. Excellent guest. Thanks for having me on. First podcast. Dude, janked. Thank, yeah, yeah, yes, yes. First podcast for you. Yeah, check, check, check. Yes. Things I hate seven. Yeah, sorry, I got confused. Um, yeah, thanks for coming on. This was fun. Thanks for encouraging me to do this. If you have anything you want to plug, now's the time. I mean, we are plugged to listen, but I don't know. Check out my YouTube channel. You know, what's it called? 279 subscribers, whatever. What's the name? It's called Matt Dickey. Matt Dickey. I'll post yeah. a link, obviously. Thank okay. You. Love you guys. Bye. How long was that? I don't know.